Hey, I am Andy with Fence Post. Today I'm going to look at the 2023 live EP by Ty Siegel and Emmett Kelly called Live at Worship. In this video, I am going to show you my copy of the record on vinyl, talk a little bit about what you get within, and share a little about the show where this live record was recorded. It's kind of cool. I'm going to start with the vinyl. As noted, this is an EP, or extended play for those unfamiliar, which means that it's longer than a single but doesn't quite have the duration and length of a full-on album. That means this EP features just five songs. Pressed to 12 inches of wax, it spins at 45 RPM. There's three songs on the A side, two on the B. There's not much here. There's no true inserts. The uh, supplemental bonuses that you get with some records it just doesn't have them. This is just the sleeve right here and the record right here. And that's really all you get, which is honestly kind of what you usually get with Drag City. Most of their releases these days have just one pressing, standard black, and not much comes within them. Not to say that it isn't quality stuff. As you find with the past several Drag City albums from Ty Siegel, it's kind of on this nice, thick wax. It feels like it has superior quality even to other 180 gram pieces of wax. Still, I, I like the simplicity. I don't always like the price though, especially given that there are just five songs here. This EP was originally released back in February of this year, 2023, but it originally was only released on vinyl in Europe due to production delays here in the United States. Well, as of August 2023, this month, it's now here. I would consider Ty Siegel one of the more prolific indie rock artists out there. He is constantly releasing new albums, having new collaborations, and honestly going on tour. He's been on this tear since his self-titled album in about 2008. That's a 15 year track record essentially of minimum like one album per year under his own name. And he's got other bands and collaborations and the like as well. Unlike most artists who use their own name as opposed to adopting say a band moniker, I definitely wouldn't consider Ty Siegel to fit the typical singer songwriter genre though using his own name certainly gives him the flexibility to swap backing members, tour with vastly different arrangements of artists, or just go strip down and solo. So in many ways, the singer-songwriter mantra is there, just not the style of music. Ty Siegel, more often than not, creates music that varies greatly from album to album, but more often than not encompasses some very familiar forms of garage rock based indie rock and he usually blends in injects a, a variety of other genres and subgenres uh, psychedelic rock blues punk noise folk and occasionally even say heavy metal though that's predominantly reserved for his project Buzz. Last year, Ty Siegel released what seemed like his 300th album. It's called Hello High, and that is with the quotation. Compared to his greater body of work, this album is on the softer side, devoid of a lot of the fuzzed out guitar riffs, powerhouse electrified solos, and the heightened volume of Ty Siegel favorites of mine like Manipulator and Twins. It's a lot closer to another favorite, 2014's mostly acoustic album, Sleeper. So let's dig into the uh, history of this live performance featuring Ty Siegel and Emmett Kelly. Hello High was released in late July of 2022, and just before the album release shows in Los Angeles, Ty Siegel and Emmett Kelly put on a somewhat impromptu show at a vintage clothing shop in the Highland Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. Yep, that place is called Worship. Featuring just the two of them, Ty and Emmett, the acoustic performance saw the pair perform songs off of what was then a forthcoming release, Hello High, stripped down even further than what you would ultimately get on that album. For an impromptu live performance recorded and released on vinyl, there's a surprising warmth 
to this record. The guitars, the vocals, everything, it it's clear and well pieced together. The duo hits five of the best songs off of Hello High, and they give them an added intimacy and depth that goes beyond even what the studio recordings were able to capture on the studio release. Additionally, the ambient noise from the crowd doesn't overpower the performance. And honestly, that's a risk that you get with live records more often than not. And in true Ty Siegel form, even his acoustic stuff sounds bigger and more expansive than you'd expect from such a stripped down performance. There's an energy here that is so undeniably Ty Siegel. And that's the greatness of an artist like this. He can craft a song that works in a multitude of layers through a multitude of styles. So let's take a look at the songs within it. The title track to last year's album, Hello High, opens this one. And it's a quintessential example of that in play right here on Live at Worship. The sound on that song is just, it's so big. And with the duo of Ty and Emmett, it just sounds so masterfully created. He follows that with a cover that I've honestly been in love with since the original dropped back in, I believe it was 2009, Don't Lie by The Mantles off of their self-titled debut album. I've loved this song since the moment I heard it from The Mantles, and it's just one of those that I return to over and over again. That's an album I never get tired of, and I was thrilled that Ty added it to Hello High. It's truly one of my favorite points on that album. And here, in true Ty Siegel form, he blends his own personal style with that of the Mantle's original, all while channeling that vocal vibrato signature that was very signature to glam superstar Mark Bolin. And we all know Ty Siegel is a fan of T-Rex, having released an album full of T-Rex covers. Blue concludes the A-side by taking things down a notch. It's a solid midpoint, not too strong, not too powerful, a little slower. Ty and Emmett have some great harmony vocals here that don't really get an emphasis on the studio recording. It really makes this song stand out in comparison. Flip it over to the B-side and you have Saturday Part 2, which is a personal favorite from Hello High, and I'm really, really glad to hear it made its way onto this EP. Following Blue, that song is like the perfect transition point. It begins on the more mellow side, just like Blue, and then it builds to this really powerful climax at the end. That leads into the closing track, both here on this EP and on Hello High, and it ends things on a nice, strong, intimate point. The harmony, the intricate guitars, it's the perfect conclusion to a honestly, truly stunning live set. This EP is why I love Ty Siegel. It's so different from a lot of what you get from him, but it's so, so shockingly good. His ability to craft an album that is packed with tremendous noise and fuzz and screaming vocals that turns out really, really good is paired with a sound like this that is so stripped down, so acoustic, so harmonic and minimalistic. That ability to have that totally dualistic range is damn near unparalleled. What do you think of Ty Siegel? What do you think of Live at Worship? Do you agree or do you not agree? Let me know down in the comments. I mean, obviously these are always just opinions, right? So I'm curious what your thoughts are. If you want to see more Ty Siegel, I did cover Hello High last year. You can check that out right there. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Andy and I'll see you next time.